so I frequent thrift stores periodically to look for cheap but interesting skates. The Goodwills by me usually sell them for about $4 on average. At that price, I find it worth it just to buy them for the wheels and bearings. I've come across some pretty good finds over the years. Some of the relics I've given away or donated to the Blade Museum for preservation. It's also nice just to have skates to give away if I come across someone interested in skating. But the main reason I do this is because I was inspired by a Braille channel, where oftentimes they skate all kinds of ridiculous things that were never intended to be skated, and they do surprisingly incredible things. I wanted to do that too, but with skates, and thrifting proved to be the most frugal way for me to accomplish this. The first pair of skates I got were an absolute blast to try to see all the different kinds of tricks I could do that were never intended to be done in them. I was hooked from that point. But why? Well, one of my favorite things about aggressive skating is the challenge of figuring out how to do a trick and then the feeling of satisfaction when it all comes together. After skating for about 30 years, that feeling gets harder and harder to come by. But with unconventional skates, I can get a vignette of what it's like to learn how to do the trick for the first time again. Five years into this, I've gotten the sort of universal idea on how to grind these skates. So it's starting to get a little stale for me. That was until these gems entered my life. They were $3 and they had nice wheels, so I figured I'd pick them up thinking I'd skip them once or twice and they'd get thrown in the pile with all the others. I was pleasantly surprised by how good they felt when I put them on. They are K2 Athena 6.1, a soft boot skate, and they have a breast cancer pink ribbon on them, which means that some of the proceeds from the original purchase of the skate went towards breast cancer research, which is pretty cool. The boots feel nice and comfy, and the full wire lacing system grabs my feet nice and snug, but not too firmly, which is how I like my skates. The wheels are the best part. There are 80mm ADA in the front two and 84mm ADA in the back with ILQ7 bearings that provide a very smooth ride. I did add my footprint insoles because they are mandatory for me because I fractured both my heels in 2002. So awesome fit and roll was my equation for any good skate. So I was already sold, but I found much more to them when I started doing tricks in them. For me, the beauty of these skates lies in how seemingly majestic they can feel throughout the entire trick, but this comes with a special caveat. There's a sweet spot that locks in tight and slides smooth, but if I'm not in that spot from start to finish, they are going to let me know right away. Even though I've done these tricks thousands of times before, these skates require a certain level of confidence, concentration, and control. The second time I ever skated the Athenas was at the King of Ohio contest, in the rain, on a 26 stair handrail. A lot of people asked me why I chose these skates. Simple answer, it just felt right at the time. The more complex answer is that I don't feel very comfortable on rails, apart from a few basic tricks. So these skates made the tricks more impressive and satisfying. The big frames and wheels also make it easier to lock on the rail. My number one goal was to royale the entire rail, but I had a hard time finding the right balance point. It wasn't until I fully committed and gave it an extra high jump that the skates would accept me and allow me to complete the whole round. It was a magical feeling. Kind of like the scene in Avatar, I synchronized with the magical beast and they took me for an incredible ride. I continued to skate these K2s until I broke both buckles. After a quick replacement, they are back alive and these $3 thrift skates are ready for whatever comes their way next. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more like this, let me know by liking, subscribing, commenting, and or sharing. Check me out on Instagram at tryhardtree where I post daily videos. Details in the description about ways you can help support me and my skating. Appreciate ya. Till next time.